Welcome everyone, I am Talk Custom, and today we've got a guest on the channel. This is Evil Ted Smith. Hello everybody, I'm Evil Ted from the Evil Ted channel on YouTube. So Evil Ted is a prop maker and foam fabricator, and he worked in the film and TV industry for decades, right? Yeah, easily, 30 years. Right. Uh, so uh, he's worked on movies like Titanic and The Fifth Element and Demolition Man and tons of others. Walking Dead. Right. Oh, I did, oh, I did know that. Yeah, yeah that's right. crazy. So many. So Evil Ted is here from LA, and uh, as far as I understand, you've never sewn before. No. And people are always like, hey, Ted, sewing, it's the same as pattern making. No, it's not. <laughs> If there right. was, I'd be doing it. So, no, I have not sewn any. Uh, talk asked me, he goes, have you ever sewn anything before? I'm like, zero. Right. So, uh, he's going to show me, or better yet, try to attempt to teach me how to sew. Right. So, this will work as a beginner tutorial for sewing, uh, and we thought it would be fun to teach Ted in front of you guys uh, yeah, how you can't, to... Yeah, you can't get any more beginner than this. Try <laughs> right. It, seriously. Cool. So, we're going to find out if uh, you can actually operate this thing. Yikes. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so we've got Ted at the Brother ST150 HDH. This is a nice standard heavy duty machine, but it works great for beginners. Uh, so right now there is no thread loaded in it and the bobbin is empty. Uh, if that doesn't make sense to you, don't worry. We're gonna go through all the steps. Okay, great. So this is thread. Right, so we're gonna use black thread just so it shows up on camera and let's zoom in on what you're doing here. Okay. All right, Ted, so grab that spool of black thread and you're going to put it on the top uh, thread bar right there. This guy, oh, this thing comes up? Yep. All right, and then this goes, now, is is it going inward, the thread? It actually doesn't matter. Oh, okay. So just slap that on there and then put the uh, spool stop right there. Got it. And we have, oh, and I got the thread here. Okay. Cool. Oh, look, there's a little diagram. Right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now, the first thing we're going to do is wind a bobbin. So okay. if you didn't know this, a sewing machine uses two different threads. There's the top thread and the bottom or bobbin thread. So we're going to wind a bobbin right now. Okay. So uh, put so your hands right under the needle. This guy? Yep. And there's a little plastic door that you're going to slide to the right. right. There. Jeez. Slide that over. Got that'll it. come up. Now pop that up. Oh, I see now. Okay, got and you're going to grab the empty bobbin out of there. Got it. This guy right here. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to move that up top. Okay, now we're going to get ready to wind that bobbin. So before you put it on that clutch, so put, so yeah, you follow the numbers. So it says number one goes through there, the number two goes through there. Yep. And then? Then it goes behind this tab here. here got it. Oh, I see it. The, it shows in the design. Yep. Okay, hold on. Yeah, if, yeah, just, as the instructions say on the top, right here. I yep. see now. Okay, wait. There you go. Wait, hold on. Your arms are blocking everything. I, I'm sorry, wait. But... Well, the thing is, because I got to hold this <laughs> thread. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Wait. I see what it needs to do. Yeah, it'll kind of create a little bit of tension as you slide it. Th there you go. So okay. it, there's got a little it. bit of resistance as you're pulling it through. Right. Now yeah. you're going to loop it through the bobbin. So grab the bobbin. Which is down here. Yep. Got it. Now. Let me get the end of this thing yeah, real quick. Yeah, so get the end of that. So you want to go. Oh, for f sake. Uh, I got a fresh one right here. I got it. All right, so now. All right, so the thread's going to go from the center. This hole? Yep, but go from the inside. Oh, there you go. That's a big step. Yeah. Inside. Okay. Perfect. Just like that. And then you're gonna pull it. Right. So that uh, the thread is nice and tight. Got it. Do I put it on the? On and the... then you're gonna put it on that uh, clutch right there, so the thread is coming out the top of Got it. the All bobbin. Right. Got it. All right. There it is. Got Perfect. it. Perfect. Yes. Exactly like that. That's what you want to see. Yikes. Now that you got that all lined up, so yes. where the bobbin is... This is the bobbin. Yep, that's the bobbin. So got you're going to snap that to the right. So push it with your thumb to the right. All right. Just like that. Yep. Got it. So now when you use your foot pedal, it's going to wind the bobbin. So find the pedal that's underneath there. There's, there's three down here. So hold on. Oh, yeah. So, I've got a lot of sewing machines. Yeah. So hold that straight up. Got it. Got it. And yeah. now Touch. slowly push your foot on that pedal. Got it. Here we go. We're going to see what happens. Oh, Perfect. it's taking it up. Look at that. Yep. Okay. And actually, take a stop for one second. Sorry. I'm so right. hold that up and cut the thread. All right. Okay, cool. All right, now you can just put your foot all the way down, and it'll wind up real fast. Speed. All there good you go. to go. And when it's full, it'll just kind of stop. There's a little... Oh, it will, fly, will it? There's a flywheel in there that will just make it Have stop. you ever worked with me before? Let me tell you something. Whatever's going to work is not going to work. Are you doing. determined to break everything? No, I'm just saying I always have the worst luck with something. People go, oh, that never happens. Wait till I touch it. Right. Here we go. So I stop, as you say, I can step on its own. 
Uh, that's there's plenty on there, so that's fine. Oh, it's got a little wheel here, so I'll stop yep. it. There's a little stopper. You can adjust the stopper if you need to, but that's good. Okay, right, so, so that's that's right. full. Now you can just take those scissors and cut the thread. Just cut it the, where? Uh, anywhere. Just can I cut it here then? Just right to the left of the bobbin, right above the cap. Right above the oh, right above the cap. Okay. Yep. So cut it right there. Oh, I don't want to lose it though. Yeah, Perfect. It. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right. So your bobbin is one. Now you can snap it back to the left. Okay. And then pick it straight up. Yeah. So. Yep. And where's this guy gonna go now? Okay. Now it's gonna go. Remember you where you took it from mm -hmm. underneath the needle. Oh, right. Okay. okay. Now there might be instructions that say. Oh yeah, it does. The it thread like... should be coming off counterclockwise. I it does. Believe. It has instructions. It's, I see it now. Got it. All right. So it goes. Go a little bit this way. Let me get a little bit of slack here. I'll so just drop it right in there. I drop it in, and then it comes through here. Apparently, it goes underneath this. Got it. Yep. Wait. There, it's got it. There got you go. It. Now and just follow that all the way around. And as you pull it, there's a little blade that will cut the thread. Oh. oh. It did. Just cut it. Yep. There you go. Now there's a little plastic door. And just click that right back into place. Got Perfect. it. Perfect. All right. So you're halfway done. Your bobbin is wound. And now we just have to thread the top of the machine. All right. So oh. start at where your thread spool is, right? Got it. So you got that. Now. I have the part I cut off. Yeah, okay, so actually pull out all of the thread. We're going to start from the beginning. Oh, okay. Because we have to thread this differently now. All right, so you're going to start in that first metal bracket, then you're going to go behind that white tab. Behind this guy? Yep. Okay. And then there's a channel that goes straight down the front of the machine. Oh, I see it. It says number four. Yep, so it goes straight down. Okay, got it. Right? And then you're going to go loop around where it says three. Oh, it sure does. And then you're going to go up. All right. And then there's a little like metal hook. I see that it. That you're gonna go to the right, up and over. Up and over. Yep. And then pull it around to the left, and then straight wait, wait. down. Hold on. Hold on. It's not there yet. No, you don't. You don't want to cut it. No, I'm not cutting. I'm using it. Oh, I'm, okay. Gotcha. It's going to the other side. Okay, got. It. All right. So I'm now it is down on the uptake, and now I'm gonna reposition the camera. All right. So here's Ted at the bottom of the machine, and we're gonna thread the needle here. Right. So at the top of the needle. There's a little metal... Six, it says here. Yeah, so you want to get the thread behind that. Oh, perfect. Okay, so, excellent. Now, Ted's got the thread going behind that little stopper there. Right. And now, we're going to thread the eye of the needle. Now, yeah. you can either do this just by putting the thread right through the front of the hole there. Or... I see it. Yeah, I see that. Um, so, I'm going to go right here. The... Yeah, if it's easier, you can just... Put the, the thread right through the eye of the needle right there. Uh, there is an automatic threader, which I've shown in another video, but Ted's got that perfectly like that. Excellent. Um, can I just say, for all you people out there watching this video, there's a reason why there's numbers all over this sewing machine. Because even though you sew, I'm sure every machine's different, but this, all these numbers show you step by step of what to do. It's right out of the gate. So now I can see this is... All the threading thing. Is, yeah. Thank God. We want to take the fear out of sewing, especially for folks like you. That's why the numbers are on Right. There. Got it. Okay. Okay. So you got the thread coming out the back of the needle. Now right. you're going to kind of thread it through the presser foot. There's a foot right underneath the needle. And there's a little like kind of slot that you're going to feed the thread through. Oh, Not I see it right there. Yeah, I got so it. So you want it to come. We're going to take it. It's going to go right through Yeah. Here. So we're going to, we're going to kind of thread that like right that. through the front of the presser foot and right. then pull the thread out the back. Here we go. And like I got it. No. That's it. Right. You're done. So you, what about the bobbin? It just stays there and it'll do its job. Oh, so the bobbin is ready to go. Yeah. So you already okay. wound it and positioned it. Now the top thread is all threaded and right. this, this machine is ready for sewing right now. So now we can actually sew. Right. Something. All right. So let's do it. So we're going to grab some fabric. So I'm going to hand you two pieces of space fabric here. Okay. And so we're going to, I think we're going to sew these guys together. Yes. So I'm going to flip them around. And do you know them. how that works? Do you know how this is going to go? Uh, well, my plan is I'm going to have the color and sew these together. So, so the, gonna... there's a right side and a wrong side. Yeah. And you can easily tell on this fabric. So that's the right, right side, side, which then, is the, the pretty inside, side. Right? The inside is kind of, you know, weird looking. Right. And so there's where the color is, and this is the inside. So I both right. have the color size fading in the right and left. So my gag is I want to sew this. But what I'll do is I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to do them backwards. Uh, I'm trying to do it like this. My plan is to sew them like this from behind and we can flip them around. Oh good, you do know how this works. I got So that. what we call that is putting your fabric right sides together. Right sides together. So right. now we've got these two together. We're gonna make this fabric longer by sewing them together. Yep. So now we got that, where do we, now how do we, 
I know, isn't there some pressure to this? Yeah, okay, so we're gonna, so put that, uh, now there's, there's something called a seam allowance that we're not really gonna cover, but just put that edge, you know, about an inch or so under the needle. Like that? Just like that, okay. yep. Okay, now with your right hand, there's a lever to the, like right above the needle. There's a little lever that you're gonna pull down and it's gonna lower that foot. Oh, this lever? Yep, there you go. Now, okay. actually we're gonna, we're gonna do this. Before you use your foot, on the right side of the machine, there's a big wheel. Yeah, right? you can turn the wheel slowly, right? So we're gonna slowly turn the wheel and you always turn it towards yourself. Okay, here so you go. So turn it towards you and the, the needle's gonna lower and now it is about half an inch onto that edge of the fabric, which is perfect. You don't want to start sewing off the fabric because you're going to get this weird bird's nest of thread. So you did that perfectly. Okay. So now we're just going to use your feet from now on. Okay, got it. Okay. 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 So I'm... Now you're going to very slowly do a couple of stitches forward. Got it, here we go. Was it the wrong, oh, there it goes. Okay, stop. Now we're going to do something called a back stitch. And what this does, you're going to stitch backwards and it's going to make little knots so that the beginning of your seam is really strong. Got it. Right here. All right, so there's a button that looks like a little U-turn. That's going to make you stitch backwards. So hold that button with your thumb yeah. and it'll, it'll slowly do it for you. Oh, look at that. Now it's stitching backwards. It does it automatically. Yep. And you can make it go faster with your foot or you can just hold the button. All right, good, and stop, then, all right. Yep, then you can stop right there. So you're gonna go forward now? So we're gonna go forwards now, so just use your foot and go as fast as you feel comfortable. But if you put it all the way down, it's just gonna go full speed, yeah, and perfect. you're gonna try to keep the seam nice and straight. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm following, I have these little grid marks on this pad Exactly, those are the seam allowance uh, markings. Yeah, so I'm following that right now, which is cool, so look at that. How's, how's it feel, does it feel smooth? Oh, it's smooth, I'm actually happy to say that the pedal is really nice to where you can control the speed because it's not like a like driving a car when you put the gas on it just shakes takes off too quickly you can press it very gently and it goes very gently yep. you, it's you have a lot more control so just run it all the way to the edge of the fabric and then we're going to do another back stitch before you end your stitch okay so get as close as you can to the edge i know once we do that we'll do a back stitch right yep Okay, so Good enough. Okay, now okay. do your back stitch right there. So two, three, four stitches or so. Now you can go. For, you can just let go of the button and keep your foot down and just run right off the edge of the fabric. All right, now lift your presser foot with that little lever. Right. And uh, slide out. You can slide it out and cut those threads. Oh, dude, look at that I sewed. That's it. You just sewed something for the first time Hold ever. On. Wait, right. let's check out the other you side. Open it up. Do, 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 do. Look at that. Ted's first seam. Dude. All right. Uh, what do you think? That's pretty damn cool. That wasn't that wasn't so bad, right? Yeah, but you know what again? It's um uh my daughter has a machine, so if the machine has all the numbers on it, like this one, then I might do it. But if she doesn't have numbers, it's going to be nerve-wracking. Okay. What, really, really quickly, I noticed there's a wheel up here with numbers on it. What is oh, this? Oh, right. So that is the top tension wheel. If your seam looks really loose, uh, you can tighten that to make your top thread tighter. And there's something in the bobbin where you can make the bobbin thread tighter so that you can balance it. Um, but usually, out of the box, your sewing machine is going to work fine. All right. This is so nice. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, sh let's see the inside. Show us the, the back side of that seam. So that's pretty straight there. Now, if I wanted to, you can go back with a pair of scissors and trim this if you like. So you can trim that, uh, or Do if... You, is there a, a, a threshold of how far? You only can go half of that, right? You don't want to go too much. No, you don't want to go too much because then the thread can fray and fall apart. Um, yeah. But for the most part, like if you're making clothes for yourself, right. you, can, you can just leave it just like that and it's going to be fine. Okay. Woven fabrics like this will fray, but it's not going to fall apart. Got it. Um, eventually, I'm going to kind of pan behind you, there's a machine to your right, Ted, that's called a serger. Mm -hmm. Now that is an overlock machine, which is meant for uh, finishing those seams, which like loops all this thread over those raw seams, so it looks really pretty. Got it. Um, but we don't need to worry about that right now. <laughs> okay. So we decided uh, Ted's just gonna serge and overlock his first seam while we're doing this. Yeah, I'm looking at this. Uh, I noticed my line, it, it's, it's. I think this was the start, this up here, and it's not, and it, gets kind of changes so it is a trick to kind of maintain your right um but like, hey for your first seam it's pretty straight right. and it, it's gonna work fine okay so now what do we do here all right so on the right side of the machine there's a, a little power toggle switch oh got it i see it 
Yep, so turn hit on. that switch and the light will turn on. There it is, okay. Okay, now, uh, this machine's already threaded and this is the Brother 1034D overlock okay. machine. Got it, got it, all right, here we go. Okay, so you can kind of lift up the front of the presser foot with your thumb just to get it on. Yeah, oh, just okay. like that. Yeah, and then like just that. kind yeah. of position it so that the, the needles are gonna go just to the right of your original seam. I just, you don't go on the seam. No, you're gonna go a little bit to the right. Got it. Okay, right. so Understood. now okay. just real slowly with your foot, just start putting some pressure on it. All right, here we go. Oops, wait, try and make sure I'm staying on track. Here we go. Oh, I see what it's doing. You got see what it's doing in the back there? Yeah, is it's, it's putting it's, all these. It's, it's double whammy. Yeah, man. so there's, like... there's four threads that are going to overlock your entire seam. And it's trimming the fabric as we do it. Yes, it is. That's crazy, man. And you can just let this run all the way off the edge of the fabric there as well. Off the fat, off the fat. Uh, actually, uh, so let it run all the way off and okay. then keep stitching for like four inches of thread tail. It'll make sense. Just hold your foot down and keep pulling the fabric out and just keep going. Keep going, just keep, <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, I see. And keep pulling it out and there's a big thread tail that's gonna come that. out the back. Fantastic, uh, And you want that to stay about three or four inches long. So now you can cut that. All right, I'm gonna get my hold on, get the scissors. Uh, where'd where, they go? Where? Are they under the fabric? Yes. Right. Yes, they are. That's so, where they always are. And then you just cut that close to the fabric. Oh, close to the fabric. Yeah, on the fabric side. Yeah. Just like that. Perfect. Why? Wow. So you... Oh, okay, so now you have a seam and it's also finished at the same time. So you've got a polished seam. So it looks good on the outside and the inside. Right. And this will... Yeah, this is definitely reinforced now. Right. And I love that it trimmed it as it did it. Yep. So it, it trims it. And it'll keep it from fraying. And basically, when you're making clothes or other stuff, your your garments will look good on the outside and on the inside. Wow. Well done. Sewing machines apparently do most of the work. I guess the only thing would be the tricky part is when something goes awry, you've got to know how to be able to fix it or set things up or rethread things. Well, we just pretty much covered, oh, you know, that's it. all of the, like, you know, if something goes wrong, you just start over and rethread the bottom or you rethread the top. Fantastic. I feel much more confident now. Cool. Okay, so Ted finished his first seam ever. And truly, how, how do you feel about what you did? It was uh, very confident. The machine's a lot easier to operate than I expected. And uh, once you put the pressure and start feeding the thing through, um, again, I'll reiterate uh, the numbers on looping everything together. Uh, I guarantee when I get this and go back home, when he posts the video, I'm going to go back and watch the video to remind myself because I guarantee I'm going to go like, wait, how did I do this again? Right. But it's just practice. Once you do it, it becomes, I'm sure, second nature. Right. Um, I like how the machine does the work for you. Once you just apply pressure, you feed it. Uh, the thing that I know a skill set that I'm going to learn is you've got to, it's the way you hold the fabric when you're sewing to control your uh, allowance for your, whatever, if you want to do a half inch or an inch, you've got to make sure when you're pushing the pressure, if you go too fast, it kind of gets away from you. So get your, where you're comfortable pushing it through. That's the thing I know I'm probably going to work on. I'm actually excited. My daughter has a sewing machine at home. Good. So I hope that one has numbers on it too. <laughs> okay. I think most of them do. Do uh, they? Oh, yeah. see, I don't know. So yeah. don't. But this is awesome. Talk. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Uh, this is a lot of fun. Okay, so Evil Ted has his own YouTube channel I where do. He, he teaches people how to make costumes, props, cosplay, and all kinds of stuff. So please, truly, make sure you check out the Evil Ted channel on YouTube. I should also mention, Evil Ted is the person that got me excited Aww. about making anything before I even knew how to sew. So it's truly a pleasure and an honor to have you here on this channel right now. And you've become a great friend. Oh, and well, it's, thank you. Um, it's an honor to teach you something for a change. It was, and it's nice because uh, we met on Twitch young, long time ago, millions of years ago, when Twitch was really hip and popular. Uh, we were maker and I would start my Twitch channel and I would get in the morning before I'd stream live. He was always streaming. So I came in to chat and he was like, oh my God, you're Evil Ted. And I said, yes. And he's like, I, I've got the building because of you. And so we became really good friends. And so now it's so nice to finally come to his domain, his lair, and do something on his channel. It's yep. been exciting. So cool. Well, hey, cheers. And hey, man, thanks for having me. It's, it's a pleasure to have you here. So thank you guys all for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, we will see you in the next tutorial. See ya. That was it, man. That's we just it. filmed a video <laughs> in real life together. Cheers. Cheers. There it was. Clink. Okay. Sweet. Mmm. Mm. That was good. That was good. Hell yeah, man. It's the passion, not the talent, man.